Good day everyone. You are welcome to my devotional. As we continue sharing insight on mothers reproducing the next generation, we have looked at a mother nurture, train, discipline. And the word for today is a mother, a discipler. A mother, a discipler. And our focal scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 28, from verses 19 to 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Motherhood is a beautiful calling. It is one of the greatest honors of life to be able to love, pray for, teach, shelter, and protect our children, whether biological, foster, or adopted, as we prepare them to go into the world. Disciple making is not bound to any particular place or program. Rather, it is bound to relationship. It is the covenant lifestyle of the redeemed as we teach a model life in Christ as recorded in Titus chapter 2 verses 3 to 5. As mothers, we can begin by seeking to make disciples of those closest to us, that is, our families. And since we were significant influence as mothers, our children will be discipled by us either in Christ or according to our choice idols. God has entrusted us with each of our children, whether biological, foster, or adopted, whether one or many, that we might make disciples, bringing them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord, as recorded in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. We are to teach them diligently in the normal, even mundane rhythms of life. As recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7, you shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. We are also to show them what it looks like to follow Jesus in all of life, including our repentance. When we disciple our children, we are engaging not only in the tax of evangelism, teaching them about Jesus and the gospel so they can respond in faith, but also helping them grow in their faith. In fact, discipling our children is a wonderful privilege. Once they come to faith, we are working with a very young brother or sister in Christ, helping them form habits that will prepare them for service in God's kingdom. And as long as we both live until Jesus returns, we are to pray and labor for their growth and perseverance to the end. Motherhood is indeed discipleship. We are teaching our children what matters in life by the way we live and love. The question is, are you pointing your children to the Lord? Or are you praising God with your lips while your daily life remains unchanged by His mercy and grace? It is a great joy and an incredible privilege to shepherd little hearts to the Father. Go make disciples of your children for Jesus. Till next week on my devotional. God bless you.